In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can import a file, a zip file. So typically in a D2L environment, you might choose to export an entire course or you might choose to export one course component, maybe a rubric, a quiz. Um, and then you might want to share that rubric or quiz with either another instructor or you might just back it up and then want to import it later. So this file is going to show you, or this video is going to show you how you can import a file into D2L. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a course. I'll enter into this course here. I'm going to start by going up to Course Administration and choosing Edit Course. This is going to bring me into Course Administration area of the course. And here under Site Resources, you'll see Import, Export, Copy Components. Let's select that link. Now it's going to ask, what do you want to do? So what I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose to import components because I'm going to be importing a exported zip file of a D2L quiz and I want to now import it into this course. So I'm going to select choose file. There's my D2L export file. I'm going to choose open. I'm going to choose start. Here it is. It's going to begin downloading. It's going to give me a green success message. So the green checks means that the download was successful and now I'm waiting for another green check that'll be next to reading the package, meaning that it was able to read the package and then we can begin the next step of importing that package into this course site. So I'll choose continue and now it's going to bring me to the next screen where it's going to ask me some more specifics about how I want this file imported into the course. Okay, import file two. I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. If I wanted to, you know, maybe create a uh, folder in my content area, I could in, I could add that title here. And this is what do you want to do when an existing file is encountered? I'm not going to overwrite it. You might choose to overwrite an existing file. Um, I'll choose do not. I can also choose import metadata if I've used that. And now I just select the com components I want to import. So I'm going to choose all items. I only have one item. So I now choose continue and it's going to begin to import that one quiz. I'll choose continue and it says importing course material and I'm getting a lot of green checks. This means it is all successful. Now I'm going to choose finish. Great. I'm going to choose done. Now if I want I can go over and I can just check and see if that quiz is now available. And yes, it is. This was the quiz that I had wanted to bring over. So that's how you do an import in Desire to Learn.